Hey everybody, it's Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com. If you've got a new Amazon Echo Show 8 and you want to try some of its new features, you might be watching this video because you've realized that they're not exactly intuitive or easy to set up. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up voice or video calling, which will allow you to contact family members and friends in other locations on your Show 8 second generation here. Technically, this is called using drop-in. An early heads up, if you're liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and do subscribe since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. It's possible to connect to two different Alexa devices used under different accounts in different homes or locations. There's a few steps required. You will need to enable Alexa calling and messaging, enable drop-in, and add your contact and connect them to your account. Yes, first you need to sign up for Alexa communication, and to do this, both you and your contact need to set up Alexa calling and messaging using the Alexa communication tab inside the Alexa app. Here's how to do it. Open the Alexa app and then open communicate. Verify your mobile phone information and then give permissions for calling and messaging. Optional, you can import your phone's contact list when prompted. If you've already done all of this, it likely won't give you those steps again, but you can go to Home, More, Settings, Communication, Enhanced Features, and make sure the option is toggled on. The next step is both you and your contact need to enable Drop-In. Here's how to set up Drop-In on your device. Open the Alexa app, then open Devices. Select Echo and Alexa, then choose your device. Choose Communication, select Drop-In at the bottom, and then select which permissions to enable or disable. The last step is to connect you and your contact. You'll want to make sure that you've added the person you want to communicate with as a designated contact inside the Alexa app, not just elsewhere on your phone. You can import all of your contacts if you want, or if you don't want to share all that and then have to deal with a lot of extra contact clutter that you'll probably never use on your Echo Show device, just add your contacts manually one by one, and that is what I did. To add a new contact, go to Communicate and look for the little person icon in the top right there. Choose it and tap Add New. If your contact has already enabled Alexa calling and messaging, you'll see a permission option that lets you allow them to drop in on you. You can go ahead and toggle that on. Once that's done, you can simply say, Hey, a lady, drop in on whatever your contact's name is. Okay, that's it. Now you can talk to friends or family by voice or video with one simple voice command. If you want to read these instructions or reference any of what I've talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've got a full write-up posted there, and you can ask me any questions you have about these communication options, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. If you like this video and found it helpful, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. I would love to have you here on the channel as a subscriber catching up on all the latest tech and how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.